Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create data transfer task in IICS. Well, data transfer task is used to move data from a source to a target with some simple filters. And in this video, we are going to see how to move data from Salesforce to an Oracle database. So our source would be Salesforce and target is an Oracle database. So let's start with creating the data transfer task. You see new here, just click on it task so you should be seeing data transfer task here so it it clearly says move data from a source to a target to some filters right so click on it and create so provide a name so i'm going to provide data transfer task underscore my source is salesforce and target is oracle right so this is this is the convention so what task source and target right and location i don't want it to be put it in the default, but I wanted to put it in my project. And select the runtime environment, that is where your secure agent is running, right? Click on next. So we need to select the source. So our source is Salesforce, right? So what data we wanted to move from Salesforce? So let's see that. So just log into the Salesforce account. So, and if you wanted to create free Salesforce account, so I have made a video on that. You can find the link of the video in the description below. All right, so once you log into the Salesforce, so click on this nine dots, you can see sales console here, just click on it. And here you can find a different objects here, right? So you can see leads here. And also if you click here, you will see different objects, accounts, contacts like that, right? So accounts, so you can select all accounts, you can view the data here, accounts data, right? So in the same way, you can find the other objects as well. For this video, I'm going to select leads object here. So you can see all open leads. So these are the open leads. We have some 15 records here and uh, the different columns like name, company, state, email, and so on, right? So this data, we wanted to move it to Oracle. So now let's go back to the data transfer task and create the connection to this Salesforce account. So I don't have the connection here. I wanted to create a new connection. So click on new connection. So you can name name your connection, SFDC maybe demo. Description is optional. You can select type here. So in the type, we wanted to select Salesforce. But if you observe, we don't have Salesforce type here, right? So this is because Salesforce connector doesn't come by default. We have to add it from the add-on connectors. How do we do that? So let's go back. You see home here, click on it. Click on the connections. So a new tab opens uh, with the data uh, with administrator service where you can find all the available, all the already created connections and also add-on connectors. So add-on connectors are like the connectors which are available uh, within IACS where we can actually uh, try a free, free trial version and then uh, some are like licensed ones. So click on add on connectors. Here you can find many connectors, add on connectors. So to simply find Salesforce connectors, so you can, you know, in this find box, just search for Salesforce. So all the Salesforce related connectors are displayed here. And you see the first one, Salesforce connector, right? So start free trial. Click on start free trial. It's a 30 day trial of Salesforce connector. So you can just click on OK. So now this is license available. So this Salesforce connector is available for us. So let's go back, click on the data transfer task. So now let's try to create the connection. So now if you observe type, Salesforce is available, right? So name the connection. I'm going to name it as SFTC. Maybe we wanted to move the leads object, right? So I'll just name it as leads and type I'm going to select as Salesforce. Runtime environment will be my secure agent, where my secure agent is running. Salesforce connection type is standard and provide your credentials. So I'm going to provide my credentials of my Salesforce account. So security token as well. So how do we find the security token? Uh, that is also mentioned in the video which I made, uh, like how to create free Salesforce account. Video link is provided in the description below. You can find it. So there I have explained how to 
you know reset the security token how do you get the security token as well this is my security token you can test the connection as well the test connection will it will connect connect to verify that this is right okay all right seems like my security token has one blank space so you need to be careful while copying and pasting your security token so now let's test the connection yes you can see the test for this connection was successful right so now creating the connection is successful right so we created the connection right now what we are going to do select the object source object so the list of salesforce objects will be displayed now among them like we will be selecting the leads object so this leads object data we wanted to move into the target oracle database you can just select lead and then click on okay optionally you can preview the data and we can even add the filters as well here so i'm just clicking on next and you you find a second source as well if you click on s yes, we can augment the data with the lookup so we can add some other data using lookup so for that you can uh, you know select the connection and we can even read the data from a second source for now i'm selecting no and just proceeding forward right no now we need to select the target connection my target is oracle so i'm going to select target oracle and the table is i don't have the table so i wanted to create a new one so let me show you so i wanted to name it as sfdc underscore leads and if you observe so let me execute this query and you can see the table or view does not exist so this table does not exist in my oracle database and i wanted to create it at runtime so i'll provide this name here and just click on okay right and the operations will be like uh, okay so as it is new the only operation uh, possible will be insert right so this is like priest now you you can't actually select other op operations right so say for example if it is existing target like the target already is there right so in that case we will find different other options as well so let me show you that as well say for example i select some customer table right which is existing now you can see different operations like update upset delete data driven right so according to our requirement we need to select the operation but in my case like i don't have the table already so i wanted to create the new one at runtime so this is the reason i am selecting create new at runtime and providing the table name all right just click on next and field mapping so it's already mapped right so map this is the source this is the target mapped field right yeah actually this is target and this is mapped field will be the source all right so even if it is not mapped also you can just click on auto map and select my exact field name right and that's it once these are mapped and you can observe here there are like 58 columns in this object leads right so these 58 columns and i think there are 15 records we have seen in salesforce leads object right so that data has to be moved into the oracle target right so let's see that now click on next and just say do not run on a schedule right so we wanted it to run it now so just say save and run it we can view the status of the job in my jobs so it says it's starting and you can refresh here using this button you will get the latest update of the job it takes some time you just need to wait for the job to be completed yeah you can see the status now it is running all right it's done so you can see it is success right so now let's go back to the oracle and try to run this query we have to see the data here yes you can see the data now right so let's go back to salesforce
and seems like it actually pulled in my 100 leads, right? So you can see here, it has 22 records and you can even compare it, right? So name is Jeff Glimpse and company is Jackson Control, right? So you can just verify it. So we do have Jeff Glimpse and Jackson Control, right? So this way you can even validate the data as well. So overall, like we were able to create a data transfer task and move data from Salesforce to Oracle database, right? So this is how you can actually, if you wanted to move data from one source or like uh, with using the lookup, so you can actually simply create a data transfer task to move data from your source to a target. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.